<gasps> oh. Maybe he shouldn't have been right up his ass. Oh. Ooh. Hey, I think somebody just shot a torpedo at us. <gasps> what the f that emergency blow and then blow up a whale he's see-through this is our hit the decade poll winner number eight and it's called the hunt for red october i have no idea what that means so a couple things it won by like four percent but it was like back and forth like this it was just constantly like this with the fugitive so we're going to do the fugitive as well we're doing this one today the hunt for red october today and the fugitive we're doing next weekend and this is probably going to be the last hit the decade poll and we're going to switch it up and we're going to do other polls because it was always the same years that we're winning i think you guys like certain decades which is fine but we're going to try something else you'll have to keep an eye out for that and if you're not on patreon where all this stuff is happening then you better get your ass over there and see because there is lots of stuff happening also you have to subscribe you have to like you have to comment post notifications you have to because i said and i am the boss here i think think this is the one with sean connery on in it in it like <laughs> i can't talk can't talk today sean connery is in this one possibly and he's russian but he still has a scottish accent I don't think he can do an accent. I'm like pretty sure it's this one or it's the fugitive, I'm not sure. And that that's all I know. I don't know anything else. I don't know what a red October is. I know what hunt is, but he could be hunting anything, anywhere, anytime. Red October, hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to know what that means, but I don't. Oh wait, what year is this? That's something I forgot to write down. Two seconds, I will find out. 1990. So it's going to be awesome. And let's not wait any longer. The Hunt for Red October and play. I have no sound. I have no sound. There it is. 1984, shortly before Gor Gorbachev. Oh, I... Uh, apparently suffering... Uh, some of the crew were rescued. Okay. Got the gist. Oh. Oh. Ever happened. Interesting. That's Sean Connery, I think. Yes, that's him. Who was, who was talking there? New. Um, I need subtitles if you are going to speak a language I don't understand. Wow! <gasps> wow. I didn't realise they were so big. Yeah, so Sean Connery's meant to be Russian. But I don't think he speaks Russian. I think he's got, still got his Scottish accent. So I'm told. Oh, this is weird that I'm watching a, a submarine movie when that submarines went missing. The Titanic one. Oh, James Earl Jones! I like him. I am digging this music. This is the kind of music you listen to when you're waiting to go into battle. You know, if you do try and get some sleep, the flight will go a lot faster. I can never sleep on a plane. Same. Turbulence. Same. Not the turbulence, just I don't like sleeping with other people. Is he the one of the Bobbin brothers? If it is him, he's very young. Oh, this was a book. Jack boy! Get yourself in here. <laughs> British intelligence obtained these pictures two days ago. She's the Red October, the latest typhoon class. Ah, okay. Now I know what Red October is. The Russians call him Vilnius Nastavnik, the Vilnius schoolmaster. Vilnius Nastalvik. Those doors, sir, are the problem. I don't know what they are. Neither do the British. Maybe it's a submarine that turns into a aeroplane, because then you would need doors. Satellite caught Red October in Polyani Inlet this morning. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like being under the sea. I hate the sea. I hate the sea. And I hate it even more now that that submarine's went missing. 
and you've no idea what's in there. Ooh. Come out their asses. Jones here. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's a wild guess, but I'd say we had a boomer coming out of the bar. Be a missile boat out of Pagliani. A missile boat. Boomer. There's all these words I don't know. This is going to be one of those Red October things. Because he said it was bigger and wider. Oh, it looks very dapper. Is this what they're in? Are they in the Red October? Can I get subtitles, please? Because I don't... <coughs> Bless me. By Vrieski Armageddon, the seventh angel poured forth his bowl into the air. Oh, I like how they did that. I was just about to crack up and say I can't understand a word they're saying. How many agents did the KGB put aboard my boat? Your boat, Captain. This vessel belongs to the people of the Soviet Union. Yeah, but if he's captain, it's his boat. I suggest we open our orders, Captain. Wait, they're on a boat. They're No, they are on a submarine. God, this is so confusing. To grid square reference 5490 and rendezvous with Alpha Submarine Kanavalov. How do people read that? Would you permit me to post our orders and inform the crew of our mission? <laughs> Holy crap, he just killed him. Where I'm going, you cannot follow. Where I'm going, you cannot follow. Report to my cabin immediately. There's been a dreadful accident. He's going to smell the smoke. He'll be sus. Ah, well, we're rigging it with a generic docking collar, so it'll mate with British, German, just about anybody's sub. It can get it anywhere in the world in 24 hours. What? Anywhere in the world in 24 hours? This could be a caterpillar. Uh, a caterpillar drive. Magneto hydrodynamic propulsion. You follow? No. It's like uh, a jet engine for the water. Goes in the front. That's what I thought. It's got no moving parts, so it's very, very quiet. First I thought you meant it was doors, and then as soon as you said that, I thought that. <laughs> like a jetpack on a submarine. They really built this. This isn't a mock-up or anything. You should put to sea this morning. So what does that mean? It can go super fast? This thing could park a couple of hundred warheads off Washington and New York, and no one would know anything about it until it was all over. Oh. You're blaming yourself, Captain. It was an accident. You'll feel better when we put in. I think I know him. I'm removing the political officer's missile key, and I'm keeping it myself. <gasps> I don't think you're allowed to. The reason for having two missile keys is so that no one man... Got you. Missile keys. Got you. ...may arm the missiles. I thought it was just for the little safe. I will try to forget your comments when I present my report. <sighs> it's going to kill you next. I didn't expect him to be a bad guy. Only hears... Not if we stay in his baffles, Seaman Beaumont. Come in behind baffles. his propeller and he's deaf as a post. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not for this one. Okay, tell us all, because I need to know what's going on. The order is engage for silent drive. Aye, sir. Engage for silent drive. Yes, Diving command. Engage caterpillar and secure main engine. <gasps> engage caterpillar. That's what, okay, let's see what happens here. We will pass through the American patrols, pass their sonar nets, and lay off their largest city. Are you sure? I think he's decided all this himself. That's not orders come from anywhere else. Oh, you're away to see this as well. You're away to watch it happen. New course 250. Yes, new course 250. Does it make them go really fast or just make them go silently? Look how dark it is in the sea. How can anyone be under there and still be fine? The American is continuing in his original course. Can't hear us. <laughs> the singing? What, the, is it? The singing. Let them sing. Singing, is singing picked up by sonar? One minute he was steady, 4,000 yards off the bow, and then he was gone. For a second, I th thought I heard... Singing. Singing. I thought I heard singing, sir. Singing. Yes, sir. That's, that's mental. It's mental. I, I'm still not sure what, what the caterpillar thing does. If it makes the submarine really fast, or it makes it go invisible, or both. Oh, Marco. 
Oh, that envelope opener, I want one. It's like a sword. <laughs> Who's Marco? I got a line on those doors. You know what they are? Yeah, he does now. A nearly silent propulsion system. Captain of the sub we had following a radioed in. It's now a hunt. It's now a hunt mission. Who's giving the briefing? You are. What? What's up? What's happened? He's liable to ask some direct questions. Give him direct answers. Tell him what you think. Okay, this might clear some stuff up a bit. It is also possible this drive system, if operable, could render the Red October undetectable to our SOSIS warning nets in the Atlantic. Would you characterize this as a first strike weapon? What does that mean? Uh, that is a possibility, sir. First strike, like, declared a war? Multiple independent warheads with little or no warning before impact. God damn, things may just start a war. Yeah. There are now some 58 nuclear submarines headed at high speed into the Atlantic. But there's only one of the Red Octobers, and the rest are just regular ones. Suggest this could be just an exercise. It may Suppose have nothing to do with- Suppose it's not an exercise. I think it was originally supposed to be an exercise. The Soviet fleet sailed with orders to find Red October and sink her. Oh. Oh. Sink her. Oh my god, they've got a madman on their hands. Oh. This is a little bit like, um, Dr. Strangelove. So, I, I don't know his name. What's Sean Connery's name? Today is the 23rd, isn't it? Of what? Yeah. What's, what's the difference? What's that mean? Oh, tell us, tell us all. You son of a bitch! You wish to add something to our discussion, Dr. Ryan? Mm hmm. Ramius might be trying to defect, and today is the first anniversary of his wife's death. I knew it. You're just an analyst. What can you possibly know what goes on in this mine? I know Ramius, General. Have you ever met Captain Ramius, General? He's holding his arm. <laughs> Ramius. How long before Ramius could be in a position to fire his missiles at us? Four days. You've got four days to find him. So we're trying to find him, and so is the Russians trying to find him, and then whoever finds him has to sink him. Somebody's got to go out there and make contact with Ramius and find out what his intentions really are. Okay, when do you leave? But how do you find him? <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, you said yourself, you know him, you met him. They don't believe in it. Two, they'd never stake their reputation on a hunch, whereas you are expendable. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> That too. I'll give you three days to prove your theory correct. After that, we'll have to hunt down Ramius and destroy him. Well, if you give him three days, then there's only one day left to find him. How do you find him? Inquire of the engineer about the possibility of going to 105% on the reactor. Yeah, I don't understand if he's silent then how they're going to find out where he is. Engineer reports 105% on the reactor possible, but not recommended. Not re Why is it possible but not recommended? Why make it possible then? Go to 105 on the reactor. You might blow up. Where are we going? We're going to kill Ramius. There's toilet roll there. <laughs> is that also their bathroom? Do you have the figures for the latest batch of radiation tests? Is that the guy from Jurassic Park? No. Bring the proceedings set as well. You're not allowed to eat. <laughs> For comparison. Oh yeah, that's definitely him. <gasps> Who's away to die? Oh, it's a meeting. I thought they were all away to die. <laughs> that might still happen. I dispatched a letter to Admiral Bedora, in which I announced their intention to defect. In the name of... Look at his face. <laughs> as a result, his men were well motivated. He's like, I didn't know that's what your plan was. They'll find us and hunt Nobody's us Nobody's going to find us. That's enough, Yuri. Yeah, but what happens once you're, once you're finished? Personally, I give us one chance in three. One in three. No more tea, anyway. No, they're all pooping their pants now. The worry is the Americans. We get some buckaroo. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like flying, huh? Bet that's the worst turbulence you've seen. Oh, wait, you. Hey, you wanna fight? No, not after you've had a bite. I don't get it. If his plan was to def defect, is that. I don't know what defect means, but is that. If that was his plan, then why did he send a letter warning the ambassador guy? Why did he not just do it without anyone knowing? Because now everyone knows. Managed to get it on tape. 
<gasps> I washed it through the computer a few times and I was able to isolate this sound. Ooh. It was originally written to look for seismic events. And I think when it gets confused, it kind of runs home to Momo. I'm not following you, John. No, neither am I. Listen to it at 10 times speed. What's that mean? I'll bet that magma displacement was actually some new Russian sub and it's headed for the Iceland coast. The Iceland coast? First take us to Periscope, Dad. This week got a phone in. You're very clever. Why Iceland? Can you track this sucker? Yes, sir. Now that I know what to listen for, <gasps> I'm begging. Ah. The red, red October is silent to the regular man, but he is no regular man. What's he gonna do? Sail into New York, pop the hatch, and say, here I am? It might be just that simple, yes. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And then what happens to him then? He's in a lot of trouble. Ones that don't defect are going to go back and say, we got the boat, or do you plan to eliminate them? Eliminate. We're not at war, sir. You are now. Do you know what's actually mad? Is that there's apps that you can see, like, how many boats and stuff there is in the sea, and there is millions. It's full. Some of his third year, he went down in a chopper accident in the med. That kid spent 10 months in traction and another year learning to walk again. What? Did his fourth year from the hospital. That's up to you, Charlie, but you might consider cutting the kid a little slack. Yeah, I would. Ah, Russians gonna find that sub before we get near it anyway. I don't know. Passing the twins now, Captain. Very good. You may commence your run. So how many, how long's passed now? Days or just hours? Give me a stopwatch and a map and I'll fly the Alps in a plane with no windows. Was that their path that they're taking on the map that they drew on with red pen? If it is, why does it have to go like that and like in straight lines? Why can't it just curve round? Like a shark. Decrease depth to 200 meters, maintain speed. Oh, I think I know why. Because it would be e it'll be easier to track where they are if they're going in straight lines. Now one nine five and maintaining speed twenty six knots. Twenty six knots. I don't know what that is. Good. Maintain course and speed. He's very calm for being a madman. Fifteen seconds to turn, Captain. Should we decrease speed? Negative. Because they have to come right. Hey, you're gonna crash. Five. Four, three, two. If he's strapping himself in, maybe he's all should be. Course two, four, zero. Fast. Told you. Told you you would crash. The temperature in the canopy is 50 degrees above red line and rising. If we don't shut it off, it's gonna melt. Oh, they never crash. Their way explode. Captain, we will have to stop until we can make repairs to the caterpillar unit. Negative. We'll run on normal propulsion. Oh, now he's gonna be seen. We have to get us all killed. I agree. He will, he's right. Your aircraft and ours in such proximity. Wars have begun that way, Mr. Ambassador. A war is a way to begin that way. You're telling me that this is a massive rescue operation. That is correct. I am terribly sorry. How can we help? <laughs> I'll pass your offer on. I think we're doing everything that can be done. Everything that can be done. Hmm. Bet I can think of something you're not doing. How long to Neptune Massive? Four minutes, ten seconds. Shall we bottom the boat, Captain? No, too late for that now. So you you need four minutes to get that caterpillar back on again. Weapon is away. That's mad. Torpedo in the water. Stand by. Well, how do you escape the torpedo? Launch countermeasures. Launch countermeasures, aye, sir. Countermeasures, what, what, what is that? What's that do? Work. Torpedo has reached countermeasures. Torpedo has lost contact. Oh, that's quite clever. Time to torpedo impact. Torpedo impact, 35 seconds. Increase the flank. Oh, oh. What the hell do you do? Turn it massive in seven, six, five, four, three, three two, two, one. Mark, turn. Back 25 turn. seconds. Turn, turn, turn. Turn, Captain. Not sure. Not yet. Mark plus eight seconds. Plus nine. Plus ten seconds. You need to turn now. Right full rudder. Reverse starboard engine. Right full rudder. All back right starboard shaft. But you're turning too late. The torpedo's just going to go straight. Yeah.
Yeah, they all think you're crazy. I found out what happened to the caterpillar. Captain, we have a saboteur on board. Oh, oh, whom? All we have to do is figure out what he's gonna do. How is he gonna get the crew off the sub? They have to want to get off. They all want to get off. How do you get a crew to want to get off a submarine? Act like a crazy man. I know how he's gonna get the crew off the sub, Admiral. Not now, Jack. Not now. It's quite important. He's had an intermittent contact with what his computer calls a magma displacement. He's got this crazy magma idea. Magma displacement. That... Oh yeah, you two need to join forces. Admiral, is there a way you could get me on board the Dallas? Yes. I think that Captain Mancuso has found the Red October. Yes. He hasn't found anything, Jack. Yes, he has. The only way to get you on the Dallas is to fly you out to chop it. Well, do it. We can get you that far north is to strip it down and turn it into a flying gas can. Flying gas can. Sounds fun. You're drifting left. Power. Power. Wave off. Or just speak to him. You surely can radio him. Check. What? Why did that happen? Look at a little proof. And now he's like, nope. You are not sending me up there. Oh yes, he's going. He's going for it. Anything but the survival gear. At this water's temperature, you'll have about four minutes. Four minutes. That's not long. He's going to end up in the water. I've seen me a mermaid once, but I ain't never seen no phantom Russian submarine. <laughs> I saw it. Leave him alone. And did you hell see a mermaid? Nobody believes that. He's found it. He's bloody found it. Labrador coast in 16 hours. Half of them would freeze before they were rescued. No, it's Massachusetts or Maine. Massachusetts or Maine. Then I will live in my turn. And I will marry a round American woman and raise rabbits. A round American woman? Round like fat. Cancel my crazy Ivan. Don't stop, quick quiet. No, he's right behind them. Do they not know they're there? Russian captains sometimes turn suddenly to see if anyone's behind them. What we can do is go dead, shut everything down, and make like a hole in the water. Ah. There's a boat this big doesn't exactly stop on a dime. If we're too close, we'll drift right to the back of <gasps> Oh. Then he'll know you're there. Maybe he shouldn't have been right up his ass. Oh, but I think he needs to be so that he stays silent. A war and she. A war. Everyone's so quiet. My wife died while I was at sea, you know. Maybe it was him that sabotaged the caterpillar. He's up to something. What is it? What's it say? You're not gonna believe this. What is it? We have to turn back to the carrier. Give it a couple more minutes. Negative. Fuel status says we. Oh, because he wants to go on board. Yeah, okay. Are you got ten minutes with the fuel. Stay here ten more minutes. Yo, I got a silver around three o'clock. Oh, is that what it looks like? It just looks like a wave. That looks so cool. I love it. Can the helicopter land on the submarine? <gasps> oh, that's wild. I'll give you a thumbs up like this. Remember to cross your arms. Down you go. I think he's gonna end up in the water. This is crazy. Hook him. Hook his leg. Oh no. Watch ya. <gasps> he's not going to, he'll jump in the water. He's gonna jump in the water. Yeah, told you. But now you go because that's your reserve gone. Four minutes all you've got. Look at the size of it! Holy crap! <coughs> oh, now you have to explain yourself. How do you do, Captain? It's a pleasure to be aboard. <coughs> <laughs> He's not impressed. <laughs> Find him. We already found him. We had to break off to come pick you up. <laughs> You'll find him again. So what exactly am I supposed to do about it? Captain, ready on. You have to sink him. Now there's the possibility that he and a good portion of his crew are attempting to defect. Defect? Does defect mean go against your orders? It seems the circumstances have changed somewhat, Mr. Ryan. Huh? If he has some dry clothes, I'll be in the car. Excuse me? 
Explain, explain. You are authorized to use any necessary force to prevent said submarine from approaching the coast of the United States. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rick Perez. See how they were saying that they need to get the crew off of the Red October? How do they do that? Because there's nowhere for them to go. Captain, I have to talk to you. No, no. Tommy, make your depth 1,200 feet. Nobody likes to listen to you. Going to 1,200. 500. Oh, it feels so weird. It's like I'm in there with them. 700. Like I need to pop my ears. <laughs> Yes, sir. Contact Typhoon 7 on bearing 250, right where he's supposed to be. Typhoon 7. It's called Red October. Quietly, Tommy. Aye, aye, Captain. Tommy, officer, make your depth 500 feet. You're captain, I'll tell you now. The whole story. Time to intercept this track. Four minutes, Captain. Mr. Ryan. you got four two minutes. minutes. Oh, two minutes. I'm basically giving you the four. Talk quickly. They are desperate. They've invented this story that he's crazy because they need our help to sink him before he can safely contact us. What? Has he made any crazy Ivans? Because he always goes to starboard in the bottom half of the hour. What? I'm so confused. Consonar, our signal to noise ratio is dropping. Possible aspect change in target. There you go. Which way is he turning, Jones? To the starboard, sir. Mm-hmm. Give the match. Wait, I don't get it. So he hasn't went crazy. I don't get what's going on. Bring us alongside him. Aye, aye, Sonar con, report all contacts. Can you go on each other's submarines or no? I think someone needs to go and speak to him. I love that thing. That's pretty bloody awesome. What do you want to say? Will he be the only one looking through the periscope? Probably. Are you going to speak to him in Morse code? Or what? what's happening here? Can he acknowledge with a single ping? Yeah, he can. Question is, really? Yeah, I think so. Okay, send him this. You out of your mind? I am so confused. You know he was gonna go to starboard. I didn't. I had a 50 50 chance and I needed a break. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. I wish I knew Morse code. Someone please tell me what's happening here. Let us turn south. Um, um, so he's doing what the guy told him to do. Which means he's the good guy. So the Russian bosses were telling him to, to start a war. And he said no. So he's... Oh my god, I'm so confused. <laughs> what the hell is going on? His orders were to start the war, but he doesn't want to, so he's not doing that. And defecting. I don't know what defect means. We've got a level one radiation leak. Every surface of the ship is contaminated. Simply changing the air won't do. We've got to get the men off. And that's what the plan was, to get all the crew off. I'm afraid the doctor is right. Shellfish, I'm going to evacuate the men to the deck. And then where do they go? Break out the raft. Lash them to the deck. We'll use them as shelters until the fleet arrives. Okay, okay. They are like so close to the sea, to the actual ocean. Like, what happens if the submarine just like goes under just too much and then they're all float away? Or a massive wave comes over and takes them all? Alton, stay where you are. Do not attempt to submerge or you will be fired upon. <laughs> He's on the ship. The officers and I will submerge beneath you and scuttle the ship. That is a rough sea for those little dinghy boats. He's going down, sir. Put a shot across his bow. Wait, they're actually firing at them. I think that's amazing that like bo bo um, planes and helicopters can take off of a boat. 700 yards. Does that button stop it? He's pushing it. He's pushing 400 it. 400 yards. He's the way to push it. Oh, it blows it up. That torpedo did not self destruct. You heard it hit the hull, and I was never here. <gasps> Oh, sneakiness. We're off. Thrusting forward. 
That's so cool, is it? It's a mini sub on a sub. Jesus, that's a big sucker. There's not enough money in the world to pay me to be in either of those things. He's defecting. You're willing to bet your life on that? Defecting meaning he's not going to fire missiles at America. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That was freaking cool. Knock knock. <laughs> now what? The captain seems to think you're some sort of cowboy. Oh, he knows. New Paroski. Yeah, he can speak your language. Do you know our reactor accident was false? Well, that was a guess, but it seemed logical. Very well. Very well? I need the explanations. The Americans are shooting at us again. Pitch is too high. The torpedoes rush. Oh, yeah. I forgot the Russians were still after you. Hey, I think somebody just shot a torpedo at us. <laughs> Hey, I think somebody just shot a torpedo at us. <laughs> Origin, fire control. So these two guys were all, that was always their plan. They wanted to seek asylum in America. Steer right, 315. Heading into the torpedo. Steady bearing still. He's got a plan. To this reach, 315. No, that's wrong. Ryan, don't turn that goddamn wheel. Do it. He's got a plan. Trust him. He's a good guy after all. How many torpedoes would it take though to sink it or to actually blow it up? It must take quite a few. Torpedo impact, 20 seconds. 20 seconds, now what? What books? A what? No, now's not the time to talk. Your conclusions were all wrong, Brian. 10 seconds. All he acted stupidly. It's a way to hit you. <laughs> Did it do end then? By turning into the torpedo, the captain closed the distance before it could arm itself. Oh, that's really clever. That's amazing. Ref, but I... What the? <laughs> Who is that? It's gotta be one of the crew. He just got shot. He just got shot. I would like to have seen Montana. Oh. Oh, that's a shame. We're showing a silo hatch warning. Port side, number 20. A missile. No, but he can blow one up. Who the hell is it? You may need this, sir. And also, good luck. Don't just stand there, Ryan. Go with him. <laughs> Go with him. Next some shotguns. Who the hell is it? It's just shot everyone. Be careful what you shoot at. Most things in here don't react too well to bullets. Yeah, I was just thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> You're in an extremely sensitive boat. Jesus Christ. That man must have been hiding the whole time, so I don't think I'd seen him. Some things in here don't react well to bullets. That was a good impression. Watch it! Oh, what's that? It's maybe like acid or something. He launched the weapon. Peters are armed in the tubes, Captain! He cannot- Shoot now! Why does nobody ever listen when somebody's hysterical? Way to go, Dallas! <laughs> Release countermeasures. Emergency blow. Emergency blow? This is so exciting. Come on, Big D. One lie. <laughs> wow! It's like a wheel. Torpedo's still active. It's searching for another target now. Oh, wait, a torpedo can't do that. Because how does it know what to search for? It could find a whale and then blow up a whale. A goddamn cook. A stuffy tough pekoya. It's the cook. Shoot him, shoot him. Oh, oh, oh. What would have happened if he got those two things together? This one's gonna be close. Arrogant ass. You've killed us. What? <laughs> no way! I didn't realize that's what they were doing! Bloody hell! So it does blow up the submarine in one go. 
I thought it would need like a few at least. One of our submarines, an Alpha, was last reported in the area of the Grand Banks. We've not heard from her for some time. Some time? How long some time? You've lost another submarine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Imagine seeing that just floating down the river. I grew up around here. My grandfather took me to fish off that island right over there. Oh, well, that's a coincidence. There is one question you haven't asked me yet. Why? Okay, I'll ask why. Now there are those who believe we should attack the United States first. When the dust settles from this, there's going to be hell to pay in Moscow. He's not going to Moscow, though. A little revolution now and then is a healthy thing, don't you think? He's going to stay in the States and go to... Where did the other guy say he wanted to go? And the sea will grant each man new hope. Christopher Columbus. Oh, he's see-through. His hair's see-through. <laughs> oh, he'll be fine with turbulence now. Alec Baldwin, that's what his name is. Wow, well, that was like nothing I'd ever seen. I liked it. Well, I think we can agree that I struggled to understand that movie. There's just so many words that I don't know. And I'm probably not the only one, unless you're like familiar with the whole, whole submarine thing. <laughs> it's just hard, but I guess the movie made on that Sean Connery was, hold on, Marco Ramius. Marco Ramius was his name. He was the bad guy and he'd gone crazy and he was a way to attack America for no reason, just because he wanted to. But it wasn't that, that was his, that was his orders. That was the way he was told to do. And he said, nope, we're not doing that. But the in-between stuff, I'm gonna have to watch it again. It's just gonna be one of those that I'll have to watch it again. And then I'll be like, ah. That's what happened there. Although I was rather confused, it was pretty awesome seeing the massive submarines in the ocean and the ships and the helicopters and the planes and the torpedoes and whatever that things that they were shooting off the submarines to, to confuse the torpedoes. And it was just pretty awesome. So I guess the chef guy was like a mole that was sent to make sure that they were actually going to do what they were supposed to do. And then he, tried to sabotage the whole submarine, but it didn't work. It's quite a cool name, is it? The Red October. And they did actually explain why it's called that, I just forget. I am so very petrified of the sea that as soon as I see anything that's like being in the deep, dark sea, it gives me like this horrible, weird feeling that I don't like. I just don't like. So I guess the fact means to go against your orders, which we thought to begin with was him making his own orders <laughs> and then so that's why he sent the letter then but no wait why did he send the letter because then it why did he send the letter because then it just made the russians go after them yeah i don't i don't get that part i need this whole movie explained to me like step by step i'm gonna i'm gonna realize when i'm editing it it's gonna be this exact same as it always happens when i'm editing i'll be like why did i not see that how did i miss that part but it's because i'm watching it for the first time and when you're watching a movie for the first time you do miss a lot of stuff you can't tell me that you don't because you do anyway i loved it and it was a very good movie for the hit the decade winner and now i know why it was the winner and now i will really 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 want to see the fugitive because i want to see how good it is compared to this one i can't give it a best movie ever because i need to understand it more before i can give it best movie ever but i really did love it and it was it was amazing it was amazing. I think I like submarines now. Is there a thing, you know, like how people do like plane spotting and train spotting? Is there submarine spotting? <laughs> I need to download an app that tells me where all the submarines are. Okay, I'm going to look forward to your comments on this one and I will read them thoroughly. And you have a job now to just explain everything to my simple mind. Explain it like you're talking to a five-year-old. And I think that's it from me for today. So if you like this video, then please give it a great big thumbs up if you're planning to stay and you haven't already, then please subscribe. Also comment, post notifications, check out Patreon. Like I said in the intro, there's lots of stuff happening on there. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Ah, sorry.